clutch basket, inner clutch hub, and clutch plates. Okay, so I'm on a 2001 Suzuki RM125. The problem that I am having is when I let go of the clutch, it doesn't disengage, basically not allowing me to move, accelerate, anything in that nature. All right, with that being said, I started off with the clutch plates. So taking a look at these, I do see a little bit of burnt look to it almost, and that's a good telltale sign that your clutch is burnt up. But all of the teeth are accurate, and I don't see any warpage or anything bent, anything like that. So them kind of check out there. All right, let's move to the friction plates. All right, so with them, you want to check, make sure you still have good grooves and a good amount of space available to take on the friction. So that being said, all of them kind of check out. I definitely see one that is shot all the way. There's basically no groove there. It looks like there is, but it's basically thin to the finger. So then would need to be changed. You also would look at the ears on these and make sure that they're all intact. None's chipped off or missing or anything like that. So with that being said, I would probably go ahead and replace the plates. Okay, let's move on to the inner clutch hub. Right off the jump, I see very bad scoring in the inner part of this where all of the teeth from your plates actually bite onto there. So with it scored and edge like this, it would basically make it where these teeth bind up on there whenever pressure is let loose or pulled tight. So that could either A, get filed down, or B, replaced. Okay, moving to the clutch basket. Now, same thing with this. It has very bad grooves put all in it on both sides. And same thing, it would catch the ears on this plate, allowing them not to either A, pinch tight, or B, let loose. So this would need to be filed down and or replaced. That's the problems you look for whenever checking a dirt bike clutch. Whenever you're having any problems like slippage, anything like that, this is what you look for. In this case, I will buy a whole new clutch basket, inner clutch hub, and plates. Go ahead and redo the whole assembly. And the reason why I'm really moving forward on the inner clutch hub is because there is a chip right there and I just don't like that, so I'm gonna replace it. 